Hey guys, welcome to Art of Comics. I'm your host, Andre Salazar. Here we are talking about comics. I love comics. You're not going to get my big mug today. We're just going to talk quickly. This is like a quick little video talking about some comics. Usually these spotlights are comics I found at quarter bins, things I thought were really neat, interesting, and maybe if you find them, check them out. I think they're definitely worth the mention, okay? There are a lot of comics that I get I don't talk about. I don't go into it. So if I if they're on the channel, I think it's worth getting. Like it's worthy of the discussion, worthy of the editing, putting this up on YouTube, you know, and worthy of checking out. So mind management. Um, again, I was at a shop, quarter bend, checked out some books, and I'm like, okay, what's this about? And um, the name Matt uh, Kind was familiar and I don't know where maybe I follow him on, on Twitter I don't know what but somehow I like saw his name so I'm like let's check this out and I looked it up and I'm like oh this is brush this is muted this is kind of like a Lemire you know a little bit of like uh, Jeff Lemire so I'm like let's get these and I and I really like this book a lot of watercolor washes, which is what I do, you know, in uh, Pariah, Missouri. So I was like, okay, that's cool. And he's using mostly just brush. He's also got this really cool little, like, um, little information and stuff on, on, on the edges that I think is really, really neat. And this is all made like a, you know, yellow, like a blue, blue line paper. So I don't know. I just really thought this was a really cool idea. I will probably get more of these. I might even like find a collection of them because I think it's worth it. And it's kind of a neat story. The story is about these, this organization called Mind Management and how they are kind of like a government agency that's controlling different specials or kind of people with mind powers throughout the world in different covert op ways. You know, they're agents. Um, they all have different types of powers. So it's kind of like a covert organization that would be like the X-Men type of deal. They're not necessarily superheroes. Uh, it's definitely set in kind of a real world. Um, I just really thought it was cool. I thought there's some neat little ideas here. The action is, is pretty good. Again, it's got that Jeff Lemire kind of feel to it. Um, but every now and then he pulls out these really kind of neat ideas of you know, torn off pages, and I really like these little, um, these elements to the story that I think is, is really neat. So each of these, um, I didn't get sequential ones, I just kind of grabbed a bunch, and I could kind of follow it pretty much what's going on. I don't know if they're all necessarily self-contained, but some of these were kind of self-contained stories. Um, you know, this kid here, he, he uses uh, drumming and music to, to have kind of a an ability over people um, and so that was kind of a neat concept um, some of the other ones um, let's see which are some of the ones I thought were just really neat um, oh yeah this is a conflict this agents kind of like uh, trying to get out of the agency and so there's a challenge with that right okay kind of getting out it and She's having these dreams. She's trying to figure out what's real and what's not real. And um, I don't know, just really cool. And by the way, you, you might not be able to tell how dark this paper is, but he, he really put this like tone, this dark tone of things um, to make, give it kind of a texture to it. Um, I thought this was just really kind of a, a, fun, a fun idea. And I bet he does this pretty quick. Uh, and I'm not saying that in a bad way, but just all, I like the watercolor washes. Uh, it just looks like he, he could bang these out um, pretty quick. Oh, this one was a great story where this girl had the power to talk to animals, right? And listen and hear them and talk to them. And how the mind management would have the animals do these like suicide bombing missions and all these kind of like covert espionage and missions where the humans couldn't get to right because if a cat can roll into an embassy and have a bomb strapped to it and kill some people that's you know mission well done and so 
uh, they would use her to kind of like sucker these um, animals into doing these jobs for them. And it's really kind of fascinating idea. And of course, she, you know, becomes really attached to the animals and feels like this is a bad, bad deal. And she's got this, you know, basically a handler who who's also has a, an ability. And he's kind of seen as like this little bear. Um, oh, it's just a really, really great idea. And there's a sad ending and stuff. And and she basically, you know, goes off to live in the woods with the animals, tries to leave the agency. Um, and so her and the animals are out there living the life by herself. But the, you know, my management's not going to have that. They're going to go find her. And so they try, to, they try to find her. And she's like, I'm here with my animals. You best go because I'm not going back to that. And my animals are going to bust you up. And so uh, really cool idea, you know. Again, really good writing. I really like the I really like the the story. That was a good one. And there was one. Is this the one? Yeah, my three year old did that. I'm gonna wreck my page. Oh yeah, this is like a kind of like a John Carpenter of Mars type of a a story where this girl is in this fantasy world. It's it's the paper. It's really it might be hard to see because it's so dark. This paper, but. In her mind is implanted this life, this world of living on this, you know, alien planet, living this wonderful life with this powerful person. And it's got that, you know, pulpy sci-fi uh, vibe to it. And it turns out that um, she's been manipulated by this telepath. Um, well, she's got powers herself. And so it's just really kind of, a, again... I really like these stories. This one's done very different because it's got kind of a, a pastel or chalk kind of a feel to it. So he is kind of changing up the stories by uh, what it's what's being done. But um, yeah, it's kind of sad too. These are good. So I would say if you can find these, Mind Management by Matt Kind and see what else he's up to. I don't know what he's doing right now. Uh, I think this is long gone. See, this is, what year is this? Uh, ba, 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 ba. Let me see here if I can figure it out. Okay, yeah. This is 2014. So, yeah, this is like six years old. Um, so, he's. this is probably long gone. But really dug this. Check out my management. There you go, guys. Hey, thanks for for watching and listening. Hope you guys are uh, loving my content. You know, if you do like this and you want to see more comics and, and topics I'm going to be talking about, uh, please subscribe. Check it out. We need as many subscribers as possible just to kind of keep this, keep me going afloat. Um, also, sign up for my newsletter. Uh, my newsletter is just going to be quarterly and it's going to break down kind of what's going on with, with me, events, some freebie stuff, comic-related stuff, of course, and then... Um, I'll break down all the comics and stuff. So there you go. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good one. Take care. Bye, guys.